Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do your makeup, hair, and outfit for headshots. And as you know, I am an actress, so headshots are a very important thing for me. So I always have to keep my headshots updated. So I guess you could say I've kind of learned the way to do makeup and hair and what people are looking for in a headshot. Now, one thing that you have to remember is it's supposed to look like you, so you don't want it to look like somebody else because your headshot represents who you are and if you send it off to somebody and then they say, yeah, sure, come in for an audition and you look nothing like your headshot, you're not going to get the part most likely because that's not what they asked for. So today I'm just going to be teaching you how to do that. So if you want to know how to do your hair, makeup, and outfit for headshots, just stay tuned. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to take my Clean Normal Skin Foundation by CoverGirl in the color Classic Ivory, and I'm just going to apply that all over my face with my foundation brush. So, next, I'm going to be taking my Fresh Complexion CoverGirl Concealer in the color Natural Beige. And I'm just going to be applying that on the under eyes. And once we have that applied, we're just going to take our concealer brush and then blend that in. And once we have that kind of applied, we're going to take a sponge and just blend that in all together. Make sure it's all into our face and doesn't show any lines or anything. Once we have that, we're just going to take our Physician's Formula Powder and apply that all over our face and we don't want any shine on our face at all because then it'll make our face look greasy in the pictures and we don't want that. Okay, once we have that, we're going to move on to the eyes, and instead of using eyeshadow, I'm actually just going to use my bronzer with a blending brush from the same palette, the Physician's Formula palette. I'm going to take the darkest bronzer, which is right here, and I'm just going to apply that to the crease just to get, add a little bit of depth to my eyes, but not make it look like there's eyeshadow. And as you can see, it really didn't do that much except add depth, and that's exactly what we want because we want it to look as natural as possible and just bring out the features we have. So, once we have that, instead of using my black liquid liner like I normally do, I'm just going to be taking this semi-permanent brown eyeliner from LA Girl, and I'm just going to be applying that right as close to my top lashes as I can possibly get, and that's just gonna make my lashes look fuller and add a little bit of lining to them. And so in order to do this, I'm just going to tight line and apply some on the top of my lids as well. And you can already see the difference in how full, how much fuller my lashes look between this eye and this eye. It just makes the lashes look really full and really nicely lines my eyes. So 
So I just put mascara on now and some eyebrows. And I'm also I'm going to be using the Voluminous Butterfly Interfuge Hydrofuge <laughs> Mascara from L'Oreal Paris. And applying that to the tops of my lashes and my lower lashes as well. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking my Maybelline New York Brow Drama Mascara Brow Gel and applying that on my eyebrows. And as you can tell, I haven't waxed my eyebrows in forever, but I'm actually going to have my mom do that before I get my headshots done. So, yeah. So, once you have your eyes done, you're going to take a white eyeshadow, or in this case, I'm using this eyeshadow because it shows up a little brighter, and applying that to your T-line and your Cupid's bow and the inner corners of your eyes as well and your cheekbones just so that you have some highlighting points in your pictures. As you can see that brightened up the look quite a bit. And once we have done all of the rest of our face, we are just going to take a blush and apply some blush to our cheeks now. Once we've done that, we are going to finish off the makeup with a natural lip color and just apply that to our lips and we will be done with the makeup. And that's it, we're done with the makeup. Now let's go ahead and move on to the hair. Okay, so now we, now that we have our makeup done, we're going to go ahead and do our hair. And I've already brushed out my hair, and it's kind of a disaster right now because I slipped on it wet last night. But what we're going to do first is I'm just going to take this shine spray, and we're just gonna spray this all over our hair, and this is just gonna give our hair a really nice shine because we, when we're taking headshots, we want really nice shine and a lot of volume. And don't spray it so much that it makes your hair look greasy, you just want it to look shiny. Okay, so once you have that brushed all the way through your hair, you just want to part your hair where it normally goes. And I always part my hair on the side, and so I'm just going to leave it like that. And what we're going to be taking is, you can straighten your hair if that's what you want to do. I'm just going to add a lot of volume to my hair by curling it. I'm not going to curl it like ringlets, curls, just like body curls. And I'm just going to be taking a curling iron in a one and a half inch size and I'm just going to add curls to my hair and a lot of volume to the top of my head. And I'm also going to be curling my bangs down. And when you're curling, you want to alternate which way it goes, that way they don't all blend together. So you want to do one towards your face and then one's away from your face and just kind of mix it up. That way it adds volume and not just staying together like one big curl. Okay, so I'm just going to get back to you when I have all of my head curled. Okay, so once we have that, what I did is I just put some mousse in my hands and I just put that up on my scalp to volumize my hair a little bit more. And so once you have done that, you are done with your hair and makeup and now it is time for your outfit. Okay, so the first outfit I chose to go with was this pink sweater with some pair of dark jeans. And the main reason why I like this pink sweater is because of the lace cutout on the back. I think it's just super cute. 
And the second outfit I chose to go with was this white tank top under a blue button-up cardigan with the same pair of dark jeans. And the reason I like this is because my eyes are blue and the blue really makes my eyes pop. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Make sure to stay tuned Tuesday for my video, Thursday for Alyssa's video, and Saturday for our next collab. Bye.